when you do an electrophilic aromatic substitution, sometimes you do the, the reaction on a benzene ring. Now on a benzene ring, there's no question of where the new group is going to go. It can, it can go wherever, you, wherever it wants. But sometimes when you do an electrophilic aromatic substitution, you want to put a new group on a ring that already contains another group. We'll just say it's an R group. And we're going to, so we're going to do an electrophilic aromatic substitution. We're going to react this with some kind of electrophile. And the question becomes, where does the electrophile go? This is a regiochemistry problem. All the outcomes we're going to show are electrophilic aromatic substitutions, but the question is, where does the new group go? As it turns out, there are three possibilities. It can go right next to the R group, and this is referred to as the ortho product. It can go one carbon over, and that's referred to as the meta product. And it can go all the way across the ring from the pre-existing R group, and that is referred to as the para, uh, para product. So which is it going to be? Well, as it turns out, there are some trends. Um, and a trend that people have identified, if R is an electron donating group, and we'll need to kind of define what an electron donating group is later, then you tend to favor the ortho and para products. Okay, great. If R is an electron withdrawing group, then you favor the meta product. Okay, so in general, as people talk about these, um, they, they so um, R groups that are electron donating groups, people call them OP or ortho para directors. And note, even though it favor ortho and para, para tends to predominate. It's not, it's not perfect, but it ten, you tend to get mostly para with an ortho para director. You also refer electron donating groups as activators of the ring. Why would they be activators? Well, we're trying to react uh, at the top of the screen. We're trying to react our, our benzene ring with an electrophile. And so if your R group is pumping electron density into the ring, it makes the ring a better nucleophile. And then the stronger the nucleophile, the faster the reaction goes. You say it's more activated. So it's an activated, uh, our electron donating groups are activators. If R is an electron withdrawing group, then we call these, um, oops, let's go back, meta directors. And not surprising, we call them deactivators because they tend to act, uh, spelling is always activators because it tends to slow down the, prog the rate of the reaction. So that is, in a nutshell, how we talk about the regiochemistry right here in the middle of electrophilic aromatic substitution. But of course, to put this into practice, we need to be able to identify what are the electron donating groups and what are the electron withdrawing groups.